I like birds. I've always liked birds. It really goes back long before 30 years ago into about the early 50s. I was a volunteer for the Museum of Nature and Science. The black swift bird had been discovered by museum people down in the southern part of the state of Colorado, but nobody knew anything about this bird. Very, very elusive. It's a small black and gray bird, kind of a delta wing when he flies, jet-like looking bird. They feed at hellacious high altitudes. Fascinating little bird. Nobody really knew much about that bird at all. We went down there to photograph the black swift, if we could. Where they nest are big cuts in, in these rock walls that would go way back in and a waterfall coming down. It's moist, it's cold, it's humid. And these little guys nest up in these small pockets up there. So we went down there and we had ladders, camera equipment. We climbed up there and we got this spectacular photograph of a black swift, I can't tell you whether it's a male or a female, on the nest. And it was the first photograph of the black swift on a nest. Nobody really even knew where they nested, let alone what they do or where they go. I was introduced to that black swift and then I joined the board and I learned about this research that the board was doing about the black swift. And it rang a bell and I thought, wow, here they were doing this research on this bird that I'd been involved photographing at the museum back in the early 50s. And I became enthralled with that. Jason, I think was the biologist's name, had a geolocator that was about as big as your little finger around it that made it look like a little bitty backpack. And that little guy took off from here. They flew to who knows where. Nobody knew where they went for the winter time. There were no records. With this geolocator that he had on his back, they were able to determine the longitude and the latitude of where he went and where he spent time. And it turns out that he spends our winters in the jungles of Brazil. Even the bird community of Brazil, they have a lot of birds in Brazil. They didn't even know the black swift was there. And it was interesting because nobody in the world knew where this little black swift went to get out of the cold weather in Colorado and that he comes back to Colorado every year to the same nest, as long as it's still there. And there are now several places where they have discovered black swifts. They had the picnic out here, their May picnic, and I attended as a new board member, and they were auctioning off the backpack that this little black swift had flown with. Well, I had to have it. I think I end up paying $385 for that little backpack. And I have it very proudly on my desk, hanging from a nail on my desk. And it connects me with this place, with the museum, with the black swift as a bird, with all nature and all that. And it just sort of came home to me with this little backpack.